Well, if you can believe it, it's been almost a month since the first Seminole Heights killing. Three victims, no arrests. Right. But the family of the youngest victim is hoping their son is never forgotten while helping others at the same time. This is the bike Anthony Naiboa will never ride again. He's an outgoing, caring person, hardworking. Like These are the shoes he will never wear again. Anthony was a very cheerful, caring, hardworking um, young man. The oldest of five who always wanted to help and work. He loved his new job. They were like packing food for the hurricane relief for the victims in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. Anthony had autism, but his mom says he wasn't defined by it. He had earned his independence still every day, though, when he left the house. They were scared. But we always worried, you know, due to his autistic traits, even though it was functional, he still can see, you know, a lot of stuff. So 14 days after his mom and dad lost their son, they are doing their part to make sure he isn't forgotten. The Seminole Heights community has been raising money for the victims' families of the Seminole Heights killings, but Anthony's family is donating their portion to set up a scholarship in his name. To um, help out other children that are, you know, have his conditions and let them know that no matter what condition you have, you can overcome any obstacles. And even though the bike and the shoes will never be used again, Anthony's parents just want people to stay vigilant and never forget what happened to Benjamin, Monica, and Anthony. And one way to contribute to the scholarship is through the eighth annual Taste of the Heights happening this coming weekend. It's a showcase of the restaurants and breweries in Seminole Heights. You know, the event organizer was worried with the killings happening. They may not be able to sell a lot of those tickets, but some good news here. It's all sold out. There are still drink tickets available, though, for the event on Sunday. And if you can't make it out, there's still a way you can support the families of the victims. They can actually donate through the Seminole Heights Foundation. So what we've done as a neighborhood or a community, we have partnered with the Seminole Heights Foundation. So that way, everything donated will become a tax deductible donation. Taste of the Heights ticket info is on our website right now at abcactionnews.com. Plus a look at the t-shirts the group is selling to also raise more money.